Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hi, what's up beautiful people out there? This is Ashish Chauhan from Ashir Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all of you guys are doing extremely well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a very 3D photo for your photo on Facebook, which is a very trending nowadays going on. So before getting to the video, just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and produce just like this for you guys. And if you're still not subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates of our videos which we post every day. Also follow me on Instagram and just log on to our website that is www.asphericreations.com From there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, new AUTs, new PNGs, new you know camera preset and every other loot files and all photo editing stuff just for free. So guys go and check it out my website and so let's just jump to the beautiful world of photoshop photoshop so let's just uh, start with our photo editing process all you have to do is just capture some kind of photograph in whichever you can just capture it in your room or whatever you are just capture that photograph all you have to do is that uh, let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool just roll all over the subject's body to make it selected in a perfect way. You can also use pen tool to select. Here it is very much important to select the hairs of the subject. So all you have to do is that just right click on it and select the select and mask option if you are using Photoshop CC or if you are using Photoshop CS6 and you can see a refine edge brush tool. So just select that tool and just uh, we will select the second brush that is a uh, Refine brush edge tool. Just select that brush and just roll all over the edge of the hairs of the subjects to make it selected in a proper way. So it is very much necessary that you should select this uh, hairs of the subject. So now you have seen by after selecting just press OK so it will automatically detect the edge of the hairs. Now just right click on it and select layer by copy option or you can directly press Ctrl J or Command J from the keyboard to make a duplication of the selection which you have made. So you can see here is our photograph which we have cut out. Now here the important thing is so we have to crop our photograph for our Instagram profile. So just select the crop tool and select the 80 to 10 ratio which is a very perfect Instagram portrait ratio which we usually everyone upload or keep now just uh, increase the size of this you can also increase it by just stretching over here just make sure to keep it keep this in the middle now just hit ok now let's add the background file just go to the file click on open and let's just uh, add some kind of background on the image let's select this background now all you're gonna do is just drag it and drop over here it is very kind of an over simple now go to the edit select the free transform tool now press shift and alt key from the keyboard and just stretch from one direction of the, any of the corners to you know make a perfect ratio and just keep it in a perfect way now you can just increase the size of this You can, you can also increase the size if you want to increase now just press ok now again press ctrl l from the keyboard because you want to make it more darker so just uh, make it more dark the background and this one is really looking very kind of cool now all you have to do is just uh, we will just blur it so go to the filter, select the blur and select the box blur from there. Just make the box blur to around 25 or 30 percent. Don't too much do it because we want to maintain the background originalism. So just make it to 30. Now the next thing would be we are doing is that we gonna just uh, select blur the edge of the subject. So select the blur tool, 
select hard run brush and make the strength 200 percent and just do the process of blurring which we usually do in every kind of photo because by blurring the edge of the subject your photograph will look way more original and better which we want no one should be able to identify whether your photo is edited or you know captured or recaptured from the real it should be looking like it is really captured from the camera so it is very much necessary that you should always do this process of blurring on the edge of the subject which you have cut out so just do it in a proper way of the every size from every side of the subject so you can see this is how you have to do also do it on the face region because you will want your face to look very much you know perfect so just do it don't do on the hairs because we want to make get that get those minute hair details very precisely so just keep it as it is and here let's just uh, select create a new layer create a clipping mask select the brush tool and just uh, decrease some size and just you know pick the color by pressing alt key and just make it more darker on the edges just paint it with the colors now just merge with the background again let's select the blur tool and just start the process of blurring the edge now here is something more remains of create new layer and create a clipping mask select the brush tool and pick the color by pressing alt key and just paint it with the black color because we don't want a very minute details to be you know seen unreal so we are doing this every kind of process now again let's select the blur tool and let's start our process of blurring the edge of the model this is how you have to do the process of blurring every corner of the shirt and also the pant region you should do this process of blurring this will actually you know make your photograph to look way more original and better which we want am i right that way yeah so just just do the process of blurring So finally I think we have completed our process just make sure no part of the subject is remain unblurred just blur the every portion of the image in a perfect way So finally here we have done the process of blurring in a perfect way. Now the next thing would be we are gonna do is just go to the color lookup from the adjustment layer and add some loot file. Let's select this cinematic fourth loot. This loot file can be found from my website you can download it for free from there or the links are given in the description. Now this one is really looking very much awesome. So just merge it with the background. Now let's just you know clean some face of the subject. So select the mixture brush tool and let's just clean a little bit of skin of the subject. Only a little bit. Don't do too much because we want to maintain the originalism of the subject. So just do it on a little bit.
so finally here we have done the process of smudging the face and everything is looking now perfect so just uh, click this there now you can see your photograph is really looking very much perfect now let's select the dodge tool and let's just add some dodge on the image Now this one is really looking very much awesome. Let's again select the brush tool and just paint it with the black color, the whitish color. Now this one is really looking very much perfect, I guess. Now just merge all the layers. First of all, we just do we will just duplicate this layer because we want to keep as our 3d so just keep it as it is now just merge all the layers from here right click on it and select merge layers so finally here we have done our process of editing so you can see the before and after effect now the next thing would be we gonna first of all we'll save this image for our profile for our upload so let's just name it as a and just save is save as jpg format just make sure to get those quality 10 now the next thing we're gonna do is let's duplicate go to the image select the duplicate from there so just duplicate the layer now here let's create new layer select the gradient tools and from here select the black and white color now just make it more black and white now go to the edit select the free transform tool and just stretch it on the downward direction yes now this one is really looking perfect now all you're gonna do is just go to the filter select the box uh, sorry instead of box blur go to the filter select blur and select gaussian blur and make the gaussian blur to 1 or 2 percent or 1.5 now here you can see this was our image cut out now press ctrl or command key and just uh, press the mouse, mouse key to select this uh, image now create new layer and just select the paint bucket tool and just take this whitish gray from this point and just paint with the, this color now again select the brush tool and select more white color from here and just increase the size of this and just make it on the top portion of here press ctrl d now this is our depth image or the mass 3d image for the facebook now just save is you know, go to save and just uh, save as and select the jpeg format and here was our a now here you have to rename the file as a after underscore and select and write the depth and now just to save this image you can just make the any of the quality so you can see here is our final upload image that is this image and one more is this that is mask file of the depth 3d image now let's select the photo uh, facebook and just upload some photo from here you can just follow me on facebook uh, so just upload this both the image that is this and this and select the open This will actually you know take some time to upload yes now it is doing its process so it is the 3d is created so finally here you can see our 3d image has been started creating
So finally here our photo editing process of 3D has been completed so you can see that here is the before and you can see your photograph is really looking very much you know 3D. So this is how you can just create a 3D photograph for your Facebook uploads. From here you can just share it and just boom. So this is how you have to you know do this process of just uh, blah, making a 3D process of the photograph. So I hope you all guys have enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and press it just like this for you guys and if you are still not subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates. Also visit our website that is www.asfigurations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset and every kind of photo editing stuff and loots for free. So guys go and check out my website also follow me on instagram so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video